Ukrainian forces blasted the Russian-occupied city of Melitopol with more than a dozen explosions lighting up the sky amid conflicting reports of casualties among Russian forces in the area. Residents of the strategic southern city of some 150,000 people reported that large explosions rang out in eastern Melitopol late on December 10th, with fires burning into the morning of December 11th. Russian President Vladimir Putin's army is poised to reach 100,000 troop losses just shy of Christmas and the Ukraine war's 10-month anniversary, according to calculations based on Ukrainian estimates. The Defense Ministry of Ukraine and General Staff of the Armed Forces of Ukraine provide daily estimates of how much Russian personnel have been lost since the day before and the total number of Russian losses since the war began. In a rare admission, a Russian official acknowledged recently on state television that the military was playing catch-up and forced to go on the defensive against Ukraine as the war-torn country continues to receive impactful Western weapons and aid. Jens Stoltenberg also said Ukraine could win the conflict. Britain's Ministry of Defense estimates Russia has lost about a third of its ground combat force since the war began in February. The Russian invasion has been hampered by stiff Ukrainian resistance and logistical issues. Its initial goal appeared to be to sweep across the country and topple the Ukrainian government. Instead, Russia has withdrawn from areas around the capital Kiev after failing to capture it and since mid-April has been focusing its efforts on two eastern provinces. That profound miscalculation has affected the course of the war and triggered the reconfiguration of Russia's forces, for example, special operations troop deployment to large cities. Those forces achieved some immediate limited objectives, but not to the extent of enabling conventional battalions to occupy those areas in a stable way. These examples are just some of the newest signs that Putin's war in Ukraine is not going to plan.